here we're on base leg for Dunkerswell just over the countryside to the east and I'm just about to start the turn from base leg here we go on to the final for runway two too hard there you go you can see Dunkerswell coming up now in the middle of the picture you can see the old runways there plus the original extension of the runway 22 which is now forms part of uh, an industrial estate also on the right hand side you might notice that there's now a huge photovoltaic farm okay that's runway 22 the long extended arrows in the center indicate that you can't land at this end of it you've got to land where the arrows finish and the numbers begin on the left is the industrial estate there's a road crossing the runway as you can see and then to the left where the aircraft is parked is the club and the old taxiway this is an old world war, world war ii american naval um, airfield and all of the domestic accommodation was over on the left hand side there also there was a long string of t2 hangars right down through uh, bordering the perimeter track there but there's only two of them left now here's runway 22 threshold coming up and we're about to touch down you'll note the touchdown because there's a as a judder as the wheels touch the ground touch the runway there it is okay I have the taxi to what's called the loop which is an outlet on the right hand side probably halfway down the runway um, and the landing distance of this airplane is so short that I now have some way to taxi here I am turning right now to get off the runway you'll see the windsock pass across the center of the picture right there passing through the propeller now and that's the end of the landing at dunk as well and here I am lining up for takeoff having had fuel okay I'm moving to the right so I can check there's nothing coming in on final before I actually line up in the center of the runway so otherwise I'd foul the approach okay lining up on the center line now okay forward with the throttle accelerating tail coming up now and you can see the extended uh, arrows now and there we are airborne even before the runway starts now what I do is hold the nose of the airplane down so that uh, I can actually gain a, a small amount of speed for climbing but also so that I can land back on the runway if something goes wrong you can see the end of the runway is coming up now below the nose there on the right hand side there we are now we're fully airborne we're at about 2,000 feet and that's the coast coming up ahead it's beautiful countryside below here and it's even nicer earlier on this day I'd actually done a Battle of Britain flyby in company with five other airplanes for the Royal Air Force Association at Tynmouth and we'll be passing over that in, in a few minutes Exeter Airport is now off on my right hand side and uh, I'm just about to cross its extended centre line um, which means that airliners will be landing over the top of me okay there's the coast coming up where well, you can see the inlet in the uh, middle distance there is Torquay and uh, on the shoreline closest to me is, is uh, Exmouth and we've just passed over that and um, now coming up on the right hand side where you can see the inlet there is the Tain estuary and Tynmouth is just on the very edge of that you can just see the pier coming up now on the right hand side below alongside the entrance to the estuary cruising along at about sort of 80 to 85 miles an hour no point in rushing much better to enjoy the day there we are you can see the Tynmouth Pier coming up now right at the entrance to the estuary there on the right hand side
noisy things these old airplanes but I wouldn't be without it it's an absolutely wonderful thing to fly tricky but wonderful as you can see the cloud is coming down all the time and I've got a cloud base at the moment of about 2,000 feet which is absolutely ideal visibility is great as you can see although the overcast day sadly is uh, is leaching out the colors so you can't get a, an idea of how beautiful the colors of the countryside are now we are that tinmouth is now below right hand side center of the picture where you can see the water course going inland and you can now see the pier clearly and it was along there that we did uh, our fly in three passes one west to east one east to west and finally uh, a stream of six airplanes in line ahead formation at low level all the way along the beaches as far as Sidmouth and then inland to Dunkerswell where we fueled sadly I'd filmed all of this but it just didn't come out and the the SD card in the movie camera hadn't been pressed in fully so sorry about that On the far side of the estuary there, on the little promontory that sticks out, is Shalden Village. Torquay, Paynton and Brixham are all now just ahead of the nose on the left. And I shall be turning inland shortly to make a course direct for my field via Paynton. Okay, this will clot. There we are. Now, that's Stoke Gabriel below, and that's the River Dart you can see there. And where the River Dart divides there into what's called Tuck and Hay Creek, um, that leads up to Ashprinton and to my field. Um, can't see it quite so well right now, but you'll see it in a few minutes on the top of the hill, almost dead ahead. And I'm now down to 1500 feet and um, about to take off some of the power to make an even faster descent. I should be landing at about 60 miles an hour over the hedge uh, and then aiming to touch down with absolutely no power at 42 miles per hour onto the field which will give me a landing roll of roughly 80 yards and um, you can judge that for yourself because when I turn the airplane around you'll see a big tree appear and, um, and then my hangar and field in the distance and my hangar and um, and uh, vehicle is right on the boundary at uh, the eastern boundary of my field okay I can see my field coming up clearly now but I know you can't right now you wouldn't think you'd land anywhere there would you it is all hills land slopes in both directions left to right well that's south to north or north to south um, and also to the right now right in the middle of the picture if you look there's a brown field immediately to the right of that is a dog leg field and that's where I'm going to land okay I'm down to about 700 feet right now and uh, putting on a little bit of power to make sure that uh, I've got a nice glide approach to the final the idea being that if the engine should quit I can land safely anyway and there you can just see the, the boundary to the right of the brown field and you can see my hangar coming up now with the my van outside it and the windsock over the top here comes the hedge and that field is a lot steeper than you think also slopes left to right as you can see here we are coming over the boundary head there's my van, van on the left over the boundary hedge chop the power all together ease back on the stick small shut up there we go and we're down that's it okay speeds right off we're now orbiting left as i said we would past the big tree and just there is my